Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jasmine Vibe and Peace, and this is my story. Okay, vibes, as you all could see behind me, chair. I'm in a hotel. Why am I in a hotel? It's because I need to power all my power stations and then some other issues, but we'll talk about it in another video. That's not what we're here for. We're here for this new, y'all, blue editing a hooky girl up again. Okay, what's again? All right, let me find a light, girl. Okay, guys, so today we actually are working with the Blue Eddy EB55. This is a 700 watt power station. Now, I'm just gonna go over a couple things on the power station you guys are already pretty much familiar with the blue eddy but for the ones that's not and this is your first video that you're seeing child here we go all right so we're going to start from the top baby okay from the top you do have your cord here now this cord is for the um solar panels now i ain't got no solar panel but if i did that's what i'd be using it for okay and you can use this cord that it came with it also came with two of these cords here for you to plug in here. That is your DC MPPT. It's a 12 to 28 volt. All right, and then you have your adapter plug here. Now this is what I'm using to charge the station, the power station here, and we'll get into that in just a second. All right, so moving right along to the right hand side, we, well, to the middle, child. We in the middle, okay? The middle is your display screen. Okay, this is the display screen. We'll turn it on in just a second. J give me a second, okay? All right. So the middle is the display screen here, right here on the right hand side. This is your DC output. This is a 12 volt. So just open that up. This is what it looks like inside here, and then you also have these two out outlets as well. Um, coming down to your left hand side, this is the DC output. This is the USB-C. Now this works really good for my MacBook. When I'm charging up my MacBook, I'll show you guys that in just a second. And down here at the bottom, you have four 5 volts USB plugs here. Okay, and on the right hand side, you have your AC output. This runs between 100 and 120 volts. And you have two plugs here on the top and two plugs here on the bottom as well. Now the power on this unit, you will press the power button on both sides here. Now I'm just gonna be honest and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show y'all, okay? When you press the display button, um, it doesn't stay on. It literally stays on between like 15 to 20 seconds and then it cuts off again. That's the only biggest con that I have about it because I'm like, I want to see like what we work here with child versus having to come over to press the button and if you all know with the other blue eddy 2000 it keeps the screen on display hey how you doing over there okay it's on display right now and it's actually already charged at 100 percent but yeah so that's that i'm gonna go ahead and turn that off baby okay we good thank you all right moving right back along over here to this blue eddy 700 all right so um right now it is charging but let me tell you one good thing about this charger if it is a hundred percent charge it actually is not going to bring any more charge in so there's no way that you can overcharge this battery because it's not going to bring anything in if that makes sense so my input is showing zero although i do clearly have it plugged up my input is showing zero because it is at a hundred percent so i'm just going to go ahead and unplug that and i'm going to go ahead and turn this off as well so we got ready so right here is showing zero percent all right um first thing first on the display i did want to show you all that it doesn't have see okay so i just want to keep it on just for a quick second so i do have my phone on the top i wanted to show you guys that it is a wireless charger but really quick we'll come back to that all right so right now my phone is on top here on their wireless port let me show you that it's a wireless charging output of 15 watts i'm just gonna put that back on there all right so we have that on there by turning this on you have to press the power button here on the left hand side for this dc output and the display is gone again all right press to get the display back up you just have to press the button here and the display will show back up if you press it twice it will actually power it off okay so that's how much it's pulling right now with just my cell phone on top between five to six watts now i'm gonna now plug up my laptop hold on all right so currently now i do have my laptop plugged up and just to pull the display up again um it's showing now that it is pulling between 15 what 17 watts we'll say that okay 18 all right <laughs> on the screen here it doesn't give you like exactly how much uh, percentage the battery life is but it's the you it sees you can tell you can see here that it's showing a hundred percent and right now the output that we're taking out is pretty much going up and down but that's what it is okay all right so that's that 
All right, so we have another item. We're gonna try out this coffee maker that came in the room, child. So we're just gonna plug it up here. Okay, we got it plugged up, the power is on. Let's see how many watts it's gonna take from that. Let's just add some water. Look, put that in there by the bite, but yeah, okay. So I'm gonna just pour some water in here. Girl, it's a little dusty. Okay, that coffee smells good low key, but yeah, no. I just put um, some coffee inside of here. I got the water inside and I also have the cup here. I'm not drinking this, but I, and I turn it to one cup. So now I'm going to power it on and it's actually working. Yeah, so if you're out and you're camping and you need your cup of coffee, this power station obviously will work for the coffee maker. Let's power it on and see what's in. Okay, it pulls a lot of watts for this little, Oh, the one cup go this side. Oop, my bad. So the output right now, it is showing, let me turn, I'm gonna turn this one off. I'm turning this one off and I'm just gonna keep this one on. So the output right now is showing that it's pulling at 557 watts for this coffee maker here. And I got the bang in the wrong thing. Hold on y'all. Well, right now we just gonna get us some hot water because I put the coffee bake in the wrong thing. It was supposed to be over here, but it's over here, child. Okay, we. It, this is not the review for the coffee maker. We talk about this blue eddy. Basically, it's working. You see how hot this water is? Look at the steam. Do y'all see that? All right. And of course, the display screen went off, but we'll turn it back on and see what we're working with. We are at 557 watts um, pulling to this coffee maker here. That is so dope. Because y'all know I love my matcha, and I really want to get um, a small little coffee maker, like just maybe one cup of coffee maker. I don't need nothing too big, um, so that way I can be able to make like hot matcha, like actually steam my matcha. Yeah, and then it's about to get cold, so this would be perfect for if you out and it's the winter time and you just need a hot cup of coffee or a hot cup of tea, baby. This you right here, okay? So we just go let that go ahead and finish doing what it's doing. And yeah, just a couple more things I want to show you all. Um, is it does have two fans, one on each side. So there's a fan on this side and there is also a fan on this side as well. And then once this is done, I'm gonna show you guys the back. The back really caught me off guard. I was not ready for that, but then I became ready. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all the back in just a second. Okay, Bob, so I don't know if you guys heard it or not, but the fan definitely did come on when it was pulling so much power. The fan did come on. So, yeah, so it's showing now zero watts on here because now it is currently off, but it's still plugged in, but it's not taking any power, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and unplug that, and I want to show you all the back. Oh, my God, y'all. The back off me. Y'all, y'all ready for the back? Wait, before we get to the back, let's get to the top. On the top, there is this handlebar here. Yes, so you can use this to carry around. Now the weight of it isn't that much. I will put the exact weight on the screen, but it's really not that heavy to be honest. So I'm just gonna turn it around here. And hey, y'all, y'all, do y'all see what I see? It's a light girl, it's a light. The light actually has three different modes. So the first one, okay, boom. One time you just got your light, your little regular light, child. Second time, it get bright, bright. I mean bright, it is bright in here, okay? And then you click it a third time, Child SOS, I need some help. Somebody come save me, girl. All right, so yes, it does have three different light modes on here as well. Super, super cute. You press it again. Child, press it again, girl. Girl, you go turn it off, girl. Oh, okay. Yeah, so after you press it a couple times, it will eventually turn off, okay? So that's that. Let's turn it around here. Did I say anything about this color? Like, I really, let me go ahead and power this off since I don't have anything plugged up. But I really like the color of this. I wasn't expecting this color. Um, I was thinking maybe something black, but the blue, it brings it just a little bit of, um, let's say, um, aesthetics. Child, I don't know. It brings a little stuff to, the, to your little area, child. But yeah, so this is the Blue Eddy EB55. Again, I want to thank Blue Eddy for sending me out this product for me to test out for you all. And for me to have, child, when I'm on this journey, okay? I really, really appreciate you guys um, for this. Okay, vibe. so that's going to wrap things up for this video. Before leaving, of course, you know I'm going to give you all my pros and my cons, okay? So my cons, basically, for this unit, I will honestly say I was a little spoiled with the uh, Blue Eddy 2000 with the display showing up, with it telling me exactly how much percentage I have left on my battery. Like, 
I, I was a little spoiled for, from that one, but thank you anyway, Shao. But um, yes, I wish the display would last a little bit longer so I can actually see what's going on. And then two, um, I wish that the percentage on the battery would give me an accurate percentage versus a little four slots to tell me that like I'm between uh, zero and 20% or I'm between 80 and 100%. Like give me an accurate number there. Um, and then I, I pretty much that's it. I didn't have any like a huge um, amount of comments for this product um, but I actually really like it um, it's very lightweight and I feel like honestly this is something that I will be able to use more right now versus my blue Eddie 2000 because it's more portable due to the fact that it's lightweight and also due to the fact that it's a smaller unit so it'll be able to basically be stored in many places versus my blue Eddie 2000 but of course blue eddie did provide me with a discount code for you all i'm going to leave it down here on the bottom of the screen and also in my description you can find the link and the discount code there if you would like to check out any of the other products so that's going to wrap things up for this video today again thank you blue eddie so much for sponsoring today's video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and always stay vibrant peace